is that? Is that a fish? We got him. There's one. A shot. There's one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I posted that video today, which I'll probably post this one tonight, but just out fishing, trying to use some jigs. I actually just picked up, well, I got them ordered, some micro finesse jigs, and I tried a Helgramite too. Helgramite got some bites, but so far this micro finesse jig, it's, it's been doing work. But we're gonna keep fishing. I hope you like this video. Please like, please subscribe, leave a comment below. Let's get fishing. All right, well, we're back out here again. This time we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna use a Nico Helgramite here. This one's actually a dark passion, they're calling it. It's just newly released color, and I have it on a eighth ounce, I believe it is, Wobblehead from North Branch Tackle. Yeah, we're gonna try this instead of the finesse jigs. See if we can get some smallies. I did use this color uh, probably like a month ago. I sent some to prototype them to try them out. And I was able to land some. Didn't make a video out of it because I can't post it. Let's see if, let's see if we can get one on this. I'm gonna retrieve it the same way I was the jig too. Just slow on the bottom, slow dragging it. These Helgramites are scented too, so should help a little bit attract the fish if they're around. For those of you that are not familiar with Nico, it's a very friendly plastic, super buoyant. Also, as you can see, very flexible. So fish aren't just gonna rip it and shred it apart. But they have so many colors. If you get on their website, I'll leave a link in the description where you can check them out. They have such a wide variety of colors that you can choose from as well. What is that? Is that a fish? We got a fish on. We got something on. It's not coming up. Whatever it is. Stick. <sighs> Dang stick. I thought for sure that was a big one. Thought for sure it was a big one. Dang it. You got me this time, stick. I mean, I'm not, I know I'm not the only one as an angler has hooked some things and thought it was a fish. So I can laugh at myself as well. It happens. Sometimes they're just going through the water sideways and you have that pressure and it feels like a fish. Never used a Helgramite in January. So I don't know what to expect. I mean, I feel like if we get in front of a fish, it's gonna eat it. I don't think they're smart enough to be like, oh, it's January, there shouldn't be any Helgramites out. All right, we're gonna try over here. I'm wondering if the masses of people that were over there fishing yesterday kind of pushed the fish off of there. We're gonna try a little ways away from it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but a little minnow actually just came up, ate something off the surface there. Which means we have bait fish here. Where's the fish at? Oh, we just got smacked right there. All right, that's a good sign. I didn't get hooks in them or a hook in them. I definitely got a very hard aggressive tap right there come on come back for it dang it all right there he was again just 
eat it. I think they're just ripping on the back end of it. All right, well, part of fishing is adapting. So we're gonna go with the jig. So I just got those two bites on that hugger mite, but nothing wanted to eat it. So I'm curious if this jig will get them to bite or not. Only one way to find out. All right, we're gonna move somewhere else. We'll try back here then. Since we know there is some fish here. All right, so I traveled to a few places, didn't have any luck. So I'd come back here and I just got some finesse, some Kytex jigs. This is a eighth ounce tungsten. And I didn't have a, I didn't realize the hooks were going to be this small. So I just used literally like the back quarter of a spear tail from Melting Point Lures. But we're going to give this a try. So this is a lot more finessier. I have to loosen my drag a little bit more. So I don't bend the hooks out, but this might be able to get some bites. We're about to find out. I definitely want to try up there too where I had them strikes on that Halger mite. Yeah, I wanted some tungsten jigs as well just because I know tungsten makes a, a different sound in the water. Plus their weights are a lot smaller. But I didn't realize they were going to be this small, including the hooks too. There's no reason this little bite-sized snack should not get smoked by a smallie. I just gotta find them. The only downside I see of these little weights is they'll fall in the cracks a lot easier. So hopefully we don't lose it. There's one, fish on. I said I figured they saw this little thing. Wouldn't be an issue for them to eat it. Look at that beaut. Smoke that little jig. All right, maybe this was one of the ones that tapped the Helgramite earlier, but look at that bronze beauty. So golden. All right, let's let her go. I have to give her a little bit of a toss because it's kind of muddy and shallow. There he goes. Found his way. Sick. What was that like? 10 casts or so with this thing? And that one just scooped it up. Just a very little tap. And I felt the weight and set the hook. There we go. Let's keep casting. This mud down here is freaking nasty. Anyway. Get this back out there, right where I just caught that one. Freaking pterodactyl scared the crap out of me. I'm all focused on getting a bite. I'm just scared something. I see a little dust cloud in the water. A 
There's one. Another one. Nice. Micro, man. Micro's working. Oh, a bronze butte like that slowly inhaled it. Rinse her off quick. There we go. Another golden bronze on that micro finesse. Glad I actually picked that up, even though I was kind of wondering about how small it was. It's producing fish. There we go. Thanks for biting. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. As you can see, sometimes micro finesse is all it takes. Got a couple of those strikes on the Helger mite, nothing on the jig today, but went micro, something small, something bite size. So far they're hammering it. I can't wait to keep fishing it the next couple days and see what happens. But thank you for clicking this video. Please like, please subscribe. Stay fishing, stay anchored. I'll see you guys soon.